Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. True Gamer, as always, for you. And today we are going to be doing a product review on the Ana Pro battery head strap for the Quest 3. Now, Ana Pro had reached out to me very early on about this accessory and wanted me to review it for you and uh, kind of just do a little bit of an overview of what's going on with this head strap and it finally arrived today coming all the way from China and we're just going to check it out and see what this headset and hat head strap is all about here uh, basically uh, what we're looking at is going to be this model right here uh, pretty neat it's not too bad at all as you can see uh, it's fairly uh, small it is very very reminiscent of the actual uh elite head strap which is pretty cool um it comes with a 6500 milliamp hour battery that is supposed to extend three to five hours of play time so we'll definitely be testing that um uh, basically yeah it's just an overall uh, head strap with a battery on it and uh, it looks pretty comfortable and like I said it's pretty much just like the actual elite head strap uh, they are charging $69.99 for this uh, basically there's a discount on it at the moment normally $89.99 and uh, we are definitely going to put it through the tests and see what it's all about uh, so before that let's go ahead and take a look at the little video they have here and uh, we'll see kind of if we like the way it looks and kind of what you all think about it so it's supposed to snap on real easy and simple here uh, it's got a nice cushion on it uh, it's supposed to be pretty light and uh <laughs> they boast that it's 29% lighter than the Bobo VR M3. Now, I'm sure it is. Um, one thing I do see that I like about it is you are able to flip the headset up, uh, which is a big, big uh, thing for people that are recording and developers and things like that. So uh, this might be something you want to take a look at for sure, uh, especially after I'm done this review. As always, even though they sent it to me for, for free, I will 100% be telling you the truth on it. Uh, anybody that wants to look at the exact specs, it's pretty much right here for you. Um, I'll go over the unboxing of it and pretty much how to install it and what I actually think of it after a couple hours of use. I'm really curious about the battery capacity on it and how well that works. I'll be going from a 10,000 milliamp hour battery from Re buff reality to this and uh it's the original like quest one version of the rebuff reality battery so i'll be curious to see what a brand new battery even with less milliamp hour on it does and uh my prediction is this thing will probably only hold it at about 100 percent for those couple hours and uh not actually charge it because from what i understand we need a high uh basically wattage in order to keep that charging while we're playing which almost no battery is doing at the moment so either way uh you know you're looking at 70 bucks here and uh without further ado let's go ahead and hop into it all right so here we have the anna pro battery head strap box and uh it doesn't look too terrible here you know it kind of came in just a tiny beat up um it is from china uh, so it had to go through customs and all that good stuff. Uh, on the back of the box here, it does say the battery capacity is 6,500 milliamp hours. Uh, the input, input is 5.0 volts at 3 amps. Output is 5 volts at 3 amps. The operating temperature is 0 to 45 degrees Celsius. And uh, minimum humidity is 5%. Maximum is 75% on there. So those are the specifications. This is kind of what it looks like. Uh, you know, just a normal box. Nothing, nothing too crazy here. Uh, so, you know, fairly decent box. Like I said, it's got a little bit of bent up corners and things like that here. Probably going through customs. You know, all that good stuff that happens when you do that. So... We'll go ahead and open up the box here. And it says, Top Notch VR Accessories for You. We'll take that out. And then we have a card here that says, Anapro. 
says, Please note, when using Quest 3 for screen recording, playing games, or blocking the ventilation area, it may cause the VR device to overheat. The device will automatically reduce or interrupt the power output for external battery power supply for charging. Once the temperature decreases, the power output for charging will automatically resume. It is recommended to switch Quest 3 to power saving mode to increase battery life. For technical support, please contact support at anapro.com. So it basically wants you to use the power saving mode. Kind of sucks because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of the Quest 3 if you ask me. But uh, nonetheless, here we are. All right, so it looks like we got some decent packaging here, it looks like. We'll just go ahead and throw all this to the side. Go ahead and pull it out. Looks like we have the back of the interface for you. Uh, you know, it goes back to your head. Looks like we have an instruction manual. The battery pack itself, it looks like here. Which just kind of twists around. Very, very, very similar to the Elite Strap, to be honest with you. That's kind of what that feels like. And then it looks like we have a headpiece here for you. I believe that goes on probably on the back right here somewhere, I'm believing. We'll uh, take a look at the directions here, but that's pretty much what it comes with. Uh, you got your directions here for the battery head strap. Uh, kind of shows you exactly what's going on. Instructions to install it and things of that nature. So... Uh, yeah, basically it wants you to put it together. So let's see if we can just do that real quick here. Hopefully it's nice and easy, nothing too bad. Uh, looks like it just kind of snaps right in there, so it shouldn't be anything too major. Uh, just, yeah, it literally just kind of snaps in there. It doesn't really have anything too crazy. Uh, you can hear it snap in there, no problem. And then it wants you to take the big end of the strap here and basically route it through the back. Let's see, make sure this is snapped in. That doesn't seem to be wanting to snap. Okay, there you go. So you do got to use some pressure there to get that back piece installed. But basically you just want to throw that through the back. And then this will come over the top. And basically go through your front of your headset and loop over like that. Now, you do have the adjustable straps here, which seems to be pretty cool. So you can see it tightens it, loosens it all right there for you. You can see that coming out. And it does extend pretty far for some of those people that got some pretty big dome pieces. I personally don't, but uh, that's no slight to anybody at all. It's just... Some people got some big heads, someone's got some tiny ones. So, there's that for you. So, if you're worried about it being too small, I don't know. It extends out really far there. So, that's pretty good. Uh, it does have a little button on the back here. Once, once you press it, looks like it turns on. Might be a little hard to see, but yep, you got your charging lights. One, two, three, four. And it looks like you just press it again or hold it down to turn it off. Let me see here. Alright, so that's kind of weird. Let me see here. See if it says anything in the instructions about turning it off. Alright, so it actually has a click on it. So one click actually says to start charging, two to stop. Which is kind of interesting. Um, and that is actually a piece at the bottom that you can plug it into. Uh, it does not come with any type of power plug or anything like that. So you will have to use your factory... Uh, headset cable uh, that comes with the Quest 3 in order to charge that. So it uh, makes things a little bit easier and making sure you're getting the right voltage. Uh, but it does appear that it just turns off by itself. Let's see here. We'll just double click it here just to see. Yep. So once to turn it on, it powers on, stays on. Double click it to turn off. Takes a second or two, but it does turn off. So, yeah, that is pretty much it as far as that goes. And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to putting it actually on the headset itself, uh, the Quest 3. And we will 
see how the installation goes and see how comfortable it is. All right, so here we go with the installation process. Uh, as you can see, it looks like it's pretty much just a snap-on, nothing too major there. And it should just snap right onto the sides here of the Quest 3, no problem. You just want to make sure that you are lining up uh, your hole here for your audio with the small hole here. And uh, let's see how that goes. I'm going to try to get it on camera as best as possible here for you. Uh, it should just snap on no problem and that's kind of what it what it looks like oh that's got a good snap to it you can tell that it uh snaps in fairly well and uh it's nice and secure on there that's for sure uh so let's go ahead and do the other side line it up just the same bada bing bada boom and it really does have a good click in there and you can see it is on there pretty tight no big deal uh you can actually plug in your power cable right here on the side so it kind of stretches over no big deal you plug that sucker right in we will make sure we turn that off just for a second uh, now in order to slide the top piece on you just kind of put this right through the actual piece at the top here and you can see that there is just a small piece that it goes through through the top of your headset uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of a pain to get on video here for you I'll do my best as you can see uh, it goes right through there And uh, we're gonna try to get that to go in as best as possible here it Does take a little bit of finagling it looks like i uh, actually I think they probably want you to take the basal inner structure off here, which what it is what it looks like. It does not seem to be going in any easier. But let's see. Let's read the directions here real quick, just to make sure we are not missing anything too crazy, because uh, that is definitely, definitely not going in there as smoothly as most would probably like to see to be honest with you okay so the directions do say that they want you to remove the facial uh interface here uh so you can get it in there a little bit easier and you can just slightly a little bit easier but you still definitely got to give it a, a pretty good push in there uh, for that to actually come through and you can kind of see it at the top being able to come through and uh you got to kind of pinch it with your fingers and then uh, pull it over and strap it and uh, that's probably the most annoying part of it so far uh, everything else seems to be pretty good and easy uh, not a big deal and you can definitely snap your facial thing back on here and it snaps in no problem at all so it uh it most definitely does work for you. Uh, that's pretty much the way it looks right here. I'll take a look at it. Uh, it seems to be pretty pretty decent quality, that's for sure. It's not, uh, not heavy at all. Simple to install, uh, other than this top piece, which is definitely kind of a pain. No doubt about that. Uh, but it's very, very reminiscent of the Elite Strap. No doubt about it. So let's go ahead and play with it, and uh, I'll let you all know what I think. All right, folks. So after about 10, about 11 hours or so playing with the Ana Pro, I'm going to call it the Elite Strap. Um, I must say, I'm fairly impressed with it, to be honest with you. Um, some things I really, really liked about it is... Uh, I'm used to playing with the Vive DAS strap. I absolutely love it. I love having the earmuffs on it. Uh, and it's hard for me to stray far away from that. But with this thing right here, uh, there's quite a few things I actually really did like about it. Uh, first, the actual like head cradle here, like the, the back rubber piece. Um, it feels absolutely amazing on the back of your head. Um, I felt like it had a lot of support, a lot of cushion to it, and it just felt uh, better than the DAS, if you ask me, especially for the back of the head. It was just so much more comfort in it, and it felt really, really good. Um, another thing that I do like about it is that it does have uh, the long enough battery cable here to get to uh, the actual uh, plug-in for you by the USB-C. 
Uh, some of these headset straps do not have it. Hey, their special guest Landon, look at him eating his snacks. Uh, anyways, but I really do like uh, that the cable is big enough. I do like that it comes with this piece here, this band uh, the, to actually tuck the wire away. Um, another great feature that I did like about it uh, is you are able to raise up your headset while playing. Uh, that was one of the big things that I absolutely just loved being able to do. Sorry, I have the prescription lenses in here. But I love being able to play with it and then basically just raise it up and be able to look. And you can't do that with the DAS strap at all. So I absolutely love that and it was fantastic. So that's something I definitely enjoy and I think developers will really, really like about it. Um, now, one of the things that I did not like, um, for whatever reason, uh, I felt like um, the pressure uh, that you got, even kind of like at a loose, uh, state here uh, on the back of the head strap still gave me more pressure at the front uh, like my forehead area normally I never have any type of rash or anything like that and this one kind of gave me a rash uh, and I think it might have just because my forehead was uh, pressed against it and is a little bit tighter around my forehead area than I'm used to uh, compared to the DAS strap so uh, with that being said, that's really only one of the main flaws that I came across. It may not be like that for everybody else. Um, let's talk about battery life. With the 10 hours that I played with it, uh, even though they say this has like a 15 watt, uh, output to it, I was not able to see it actually charging the Quest 3 when the battery was low. What I did see, however, though, is that my Quest 3 was fully charged to 100%. I turned on the battery here, and it kept my Quest 3 at 100% for about three and a half hours or so. So the prediction is it lasts from about three to five hours, and it's pretty right on the money, which is great. So. I would not say that it charges your headset while you're playing, but it does maintain uh, that battery life that you're already at. Uh, so what I would recommend doing with this is having it at 100%, your Quest 3, your battery pack at 100%, and then basically uh, just playing right off the bat with the battery pack on. That'll keep your Quest 3 at about 100% for a good three or four hours. Now, I think um it does depend on what kind of mode you have on your quest 3 at the moment i bought this to have 120 hertz the whole entire time so that's what i play with on now you can turn that power mode off in the headset and you'll probably get that full five hours no problem so overall um i would probably give this headset strap uh probably a eight and a half out of ten um I personally just don't like not having the, the, the earmuffs for audio. That's just my personal thing, so that's a point. And then uh, because it gave me a rash up front here, um, I just felt like it was tighter around my forehead uh, than I did around with the DAS strap. So uh, that's about a point right there. But overall, if you're a fan of the Elite strap um, and you want a cheaper alternative, and a pro head strap is 100% the way to go with it. And uh, the battery life isn't bad at all. 6,500 milliamp hours isn't terrible. I'd like to see it at least 8,000. That would be real nice. But um, I'm missing my 10,000 milliamp hour battery uh, for rebuff reality. And uh, I think this product needs to come out with a higher capacity. Other than that, great little head strap. I really appreciate being able to review it. And uh, not bad. So if you like what you saw, as always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next video.